speaking to everyone this weekend, one of the themes uh, that has emerged is how kind of raw and vulnerable the acting process can be, and the creative process can be. You know, this, you, you mentioned what a rocket ship ride this was. Did you develop any kind of ways to step back, to kind of protect yourself from this swirl of, of conversation around the show, the hype? Like, is there a way to kind of protect your mental health as, as you went through this process? Yeah, and you learn it as you go through. Um, number one, I kept a really solid group of friends around me who, um, who took the piss out of me all the time. <laughs> That's really important. They did not let my head get big. They did not let my feet lift off the ground. They kept me, you know, solidly down there. Um, <laughs> and they still do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that was one thing. The other thing, and I think it's a, uh, a thing we all need to be aware of, is early doors. I'd go on the internet and I'd look at stuff and I'd look at reviews and I'd look at what comments, the comments section, that box of doom at the bottom of the <laughs> And it screwed with me. It really screwed with me. It really damaged my confidence for a long time. And I had to learn not to look at that stuff. And then that extended into my actual decision making about social media. I was like, I, I don't know what that gives me. Yeah. I know what it takes, but I don't know what it gives. And I, I think each to your own, and some people probably find a lot of brilliant stuff in social media, but I think for an actor in a show like this, it's the most dangerous thing. So I had to not do that. I'm not on social media. I had to like step, step away from that stuff. Um, those are the ways I, I protected myself a, a bit. Um, you know, but the, but it's um, you, also the way you protect yourself is realizing that this is not this is just a TV show. <laughs> you could be thinking you're the center of the earth and the world, and you're the biggest thing since sliced bread, but you are just in a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's not get too big for obvious here. <laughs> it's so interesting to me because I feel like you have such a balanced perspective about all of it now. Did that take time to acquire over the course of like having finished filming or do you think you always managed to kind of figure out what that good balance and, and distance from it was even when you were in it? No, I found that I found that balance all the way through. I think there were times when I got very uh, unbalanced during the show. Like Rose says that we met when we met. I was like, hi, I'm Kit Harrington. <laughs> what the fuck is that guy? Come on, dude! So I'm sure I had like, a, I'm sure I had like a massive like imbalance a lot of the time, and, sh and and for sure, privately during the show, I had large imbalances going on, and coping mechanisms and things that were very unhealthy in my life. Um, but the, um, so it's always going to throw something big and something nice is always going to throw something out of kilter. But, ge but generally I felt that I, I, I like I mentioned before with, with, you know, with the show I kept my feet pretty much on the ground. I always treated it as if it wasn't going to be another season. People took the piss out of me for it. I was like, we got to season six and I was like, there won't be a season seven. <laughs> and I, but I, I did that, I was like, no, you can't take anything for granted, and I think that was helpful. 